Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another Active Re Review, and here we have the Iron Man 3, Happy Hogan, and Iron Man Mark uh, 21, I think. Um, so let's go over to packaging here first. So we got the Iron Man 3 logo up here, Marvel Legends logo here in the corner, the Avengers A here in the corner, Happy Hogan, Iron Man Mark 21, I don't know how to read these numerals, Roman numerals. And then here's the side art here, which we've seen before. Marvel's Infinity Saga here on the top. Uh, Avengers 8 in the bottom. Here is the back with the Iron Man 3 poster there in the back. It gives you a description of the Iron Man armor here. Happy Hogan. And then here's the other side art with the Avengers 8 here again. Infinity Saga here. And here's the top with the Iron Man 3 logo first. Happy Hogan. The Iron Man armor. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack these two open. And here are the figures out of the package here. So first, let's go over the figure that has the least amount of accessories and one of the newer figures, actually. Like, new characters that they made, finally. So first, uh, Happy Fo uh, Hogan comes with a phone for an accessory. So this is the only accessory that he comes with. And then, obviously, they get that decline or accept call. And I can't quite make out the words... I think that might be just a line. I'm not quite sure. I'll look at it closely here. Let's see here. Um Yeah, I can't I can't really see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get this like matted black here on the this side, and then like a little bit, you get that scream look there, but it's part of the mold, it's not actually like uh what's the word shiny for it, the screen there. So it's just a like a little piece of plastic, you don't want to lose this, so be careful with that. And that's all you got, and all he has for the accessories. So here is Happy Hogan. So that head sculpt for this guy is awesome, it looks good. This is mainly based off of the Iron Man movies, where Spider Man he has that blip beard and a little bit grayer, more gray hair. Um, so yeah, you get that nice looking eyes there. I think they're kind of green, and then you get the black hair. Face sculpt, oh, the head sculpt looks pretty good. And then, like, he has no neck. Um, well, you could, he has a little bit of a neck, but he is a pretty bigger character, so. And then you get the suit look here for him, which he does wear uh, a lot in the Iron Man movies and Spider-Man. Um, and then, yeah, so, yeah, you get this, like, little suit coat here. Tie, black tie, uh, regular white shirt underneath. Here's the sleeves. You still get the peg holes. Uh, joint peg joints there. Um, you get these hands to which we've seen before from that, like Doctor Strange figures. Uh, and then you get that belt here. Nice texturing for the belt. And you get the silver buckle. And you get the pants here. And then what's different about these pants is that um, for some figures, they actually go like they, they're separate or something like that. Um, don't really know how to describe it. But it's all wrinkly here in the bottom, like how pants would usually be if they're if they're a little too long. And then you get these shoes here, shiny black shoes. So yeah, that's all we really got for Happy. So let's go over to your articulation. So he has a double ball joint, so you can look down just that far. You can look up a little bit, left and right. A little hip pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out just that far. 360 rotation there, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that far. Backwards just that far because that jacket gets in the way. Uh, he has a wasteful 360 rotation there. Legs kick it out that far. Forward that far. Backwards a little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, and pinless joints there. So that's nice. Ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here is the Mark 21. I don't know how to read this Roman numerals, like I said. I think that's how it, what it is. Um, so let's go over to uh, the accessories first. So first you get these two blast effects, which we've seen millions of times, which I don't have a problem with. So yeah, you get that peg there that goes into his repulsor hands, which we do have for accessories here. You get that transparent blue here, and you get to more transparent near the tip. You get two of those, and you get two repulsor hands here. Uh, we've seen this before with the Mark 7 armor. 
Um, and this is just painted gold, bronze color there for it. So we've seen these before. And then we'll do a, like a comparison with the Mark 7 from the Avengers 80th, I mean 10th year anniversary of this Marvel Studios. So we'll do a comparison with it. This is basically the same body mold. Um, and it has the same functions as the first Iron Man movie armor uh, from the 10 year anniversary of Marvel Studios. So yeah, the only difference is it's just repainted. So yeah, you get that nice, it's basically just painted in gold with some gray in the like details here. And you get that arc reactor with some blue detailing around it to make it look like it's glowing. Get some more gray here in the knees. Sculpt is good, I like it. And then you get some gray here in the joints. Not a whole lot in the back. I wish they kind of painted a little bit of gray in there. But yeah, there's not a lot going on with this figure besides it's gold. Uh, you get the white eyes there. Gray joints there. So yeah, there's not a whole lot really to this besides it's a cool mold. Um, and then they used a different color. There's a little bit of green there. I think that must be a uh, mess up by them but it's not gonna bother me a whole lot. I just noticed it when I was like shining the light at it. So I probably won't notice it that much, but yeah, it's just gold and I like the sculpt for it. So let's go over to the articulation for him. So he has a disc ball joint, so you can look down that far. You can look up that far. You can look left and right. It's a little head pivoting. Shoulders can move up that far. These shoulder pads can go up with it. And then 360, well you can, rotate it up but then you don't want to do it too much to the pad otherwise it'll just break it doesn't have that function whereas the iron man three uh mark three uh shoulder does so you got bicep swivel in there double jointed elbows wrists can hinge down that far up just that far because an arm pad or forearm hand per uh, pad gets in the way <laughs> 360 rotation there is that ball joint for the diaphragm so you can go forward just that far backward that far you can go side to side just a little bit. You can do a 360 rotation there. Legs could kick out that far. Forward that far. Backwards quite a lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees there. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle fit. And one other thing, which is the same deal with that. Uh, Marvel Studios 10 year anniversary uh, Avengers 1 Iron Man has these flaps that move up. And then move back down. And here is the uh, Iron Man from the Avengers 1 movie. Mar uh, Marvel Studios 10 year anniversary wave. Armor next to the Infinity Saga 2 pack with Happy Hogan. So basically the same mold, just a repaint. So yeah, that's the figures for you. So um, I do recommend you get them. Mainly I got it for because of Happy. And you would be a cool addition. And then you could do some cool stuff with like the Spider-Man movies if you want to do that. And you could custom make them if you wanted to add in a blip beard. Um, and I also kind of wanted to get this because it will add more to the Hall of Armor. So if you're doing like a Hall of Armor display, I recommend you get it. Just so you can have another piece of armor to add in there. Because this is from the movies. I do have to extend my Hall of Armor a little bit to, so I can fit a little bit more in there. But I need a bigger shelf. So we'll see on that and how long that will take. But right now, I'm kind of broke because I just hacked the Galactus uh has lab uh project so i won't be getting a lot uh till then so after like the backing period is done i'm going to pre-order the spider-man no way home wave and then i'm going to hold off a little bit i we do get the galactus figure in a month so i'm excited for that because i did back that so we'll do a review on that and it comes with two figures with it too and like three extra head sculpts and then the tentacles. It's, it's going to be a pretty long video, I think. Um, and he's a tall figure. So I'm excited for that next month. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for these two figures. So um, make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio or description for uh, my Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and PayPal. If you want to help donate for the channel so I can get more figures like this. And, um, because I love doing this stuff, but it's kind of hard when you have school going on and all that stuff. So if you do it, I will appreciate it like a lot. So besides that, thanks for watching.